Well, everybody, we've been riding the sales train hard. We are back with new knives, and there's a lot of fun stuff to talk about, so let's do it. I'm going to level with all of you. We are in the calm before the storm. This month of December is where we're doing a lot of sales and pushing a lot of stuff, making way for new product coming out in January. So it's going to be a bit of a slim week in terms of new knives, but we're going to talk about them anyway, starting with this new Arcform Theory. So I really like the Arcform Theory. It's a full titanium frame lock with this nice backspacer that has this like rounded, like crowned area to it. And it makes it so that you have no odd spots here, which is kind of nice, especially when you look at how this has a bit of an arc in the spine. So that means it's really comfortable to put a thumb on, or if you're holding it, it's gonna angle the knife back a little bit, which is really nice for stuff in the hand, or if you're going backwards, for like cutting bananas at your local picnic or whatever, it's really nice for that. And this, the, art, the theory's been out for a while, but this one's got the bronze titanium, and I really like that bronze, how it came out and everything. And then the black accents. Black and bronze is one of my favorite combos, and I'm glad that it's here. These are going for 310 at Blade HQ. You get an M390 titanium. Very nice knife all the way around. Next up, new from Kershaw, we have the Launch 4 in purple with Magna Cut. So I think purple is one of those colors that's sort of become the trend as of late. People seem to like it. It's a splash of color, but it's a different color, I guess. I like it. I, I don't... I'm not good at articulating why I like it, but I think the purple is a fun color. And we're seeing a lot of G10 and a lot of micarta with it, but this is the first like purple aluminum outside of the Protex that I've seen, and I'm really enjoying it. And then Magna Cut. So I didn't even know this was happening as we did our continue mission giveaway a few weeks ago. And they're like, yeah, here's a launch four for that. I'm like, okay, it's a launch four, which one? And I open it and I saw this and I'm like, whoa. The launch four never spoke to my soul deeply until this one. I really like this one. In other news, we also have an OD Green, I believe, and Magna Cut Launch 4 as well. So those are new. They were on sale last week, so if you missed that, I'm sorry, but now they're back up to their regular price of $109.95. Next up, new from Essie, we have the Sencillo. Sencillo, Sencillo, I'm gonna go with Sencillo because I think the two L's make the uh, sound in Spanish. Spanish speakers out there, tell me how to pronounce this, and I believe it means simple. Tell me if I'm wrong. And if it does mean simple, I totally get it because this is a very simple design. So you get this micarta handle that has, you don't quite see it because the burlap has such a visual texture. There's this right here. You might be able to help me scratch it right there. It's my favorite texture. It's on the tactile turn pens, it's great. But this one has that and then the same SE warranty that we all know and love. So smash this thing through seasoned hardwood and if it breaks, SE will replace it, no questions asked, which is really saying something for two reasons. One, it's price of 170. Getting any knife with that kind of warranty for that price is incredible. And two, this is a Magna Cut blade made in the USA. So you're getting Magna Cut, which has its incredible combination of edge retention, corrosion resistance, and toughness, a very nice Kydex sheath, all made in the USA and backed by SE's best in industry warranty. So you cannot go wrong with this here, Sencio. Next up, we have our new exclusive Spyderco Bradley 2. Now, I know what y'all are thinking. You're gonna look at this and think, oh, yay, another Blade HQ exclusive with Jade and M4. Jade, first of all, doesn't have to be Jade. One of the reasons we picked to do Jade is because you can dye it any color you want. It's the natural color of G10. You want it pink, you want it purple, you want it blue, you want it black, whatever, you can just dye it with Rit Dye. In fact, we have a video on YouTube all about it. And this is not M4, this is Crewwear. So Crewwear differs from M4 in that it doesn't have quite as much edge retention, but it offers a bit more toughness. Think of it as sort of between 3V and M4. I think that that balance of toughness and edge retention fits right here just right, because this feels like a hardworking knife to me. It's got a nice deep hollow grind here, and then Spyderco's absolutely wicked sharp edges. In fact, if you were in the live that we shot earlier on Cyber Monday, I cut my finger. That was earlier today at the time of shooting. But I cut my finger on a Spyderco knife because I just tapped it just a little bit. And we actually have a shop tour video of Spyderco where you can see the robot that sharpens their edges to a perfect edge every single time. So these are some of the sharpest knives you're gonna get out of that box. And with the crew wear hardened the way they do it, it will stay that sharp for a good long while. Very nicely done Spyderco and whoever it was at Blade HQ whose idea this was, very nicely done there as well. And last on the table, we have the new NAFS Lander 2. So the Lander 2 differs from the Lander 1 in a few important ways. First of all, it's quite a bit bigger. Like if I had even bigger hands than I have now, 
I almost have an extra finger's worth of real estate there. So if you got the big paws, this is a, the better lander for you. This one also runs on the crossbar lock. I think they're calling it the clutch lock over there. And it has a CPM S35VN blade. So it's a, an increase in size, but also an upgrade, in my opinion, mechanism and an upgrade in materials. And that comes at the price of $129.99. So if you were looking for a, a simple, clean drop point with premium materials and that crossbar lock around 130, this is the one, guys. If you want to spend more, there's a lot of USA-made stuff, but NAFs coming in clutch right where they want it. Anyway, that's new knives for the week. We hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.